So I'm going to hand you over to Richard now, who will, will take us deeper into understanding GitHub. Okay, so this is GitHub. As you can see, it's a website, and it, you can access it by going to github.com. Um, so we're just going to go through a few bits about what is GitHub, um, how you get an account, some basic usage. So what is GitHub? It's a web-based Git repository hosting service. So GitHub allows you to share your repositories with others, access other users' repositories, store remote copies as a backup of your local repositories, add bug tracking, feature requests, and wikis. So we're not going to talk about those today, and maybe we'll cover them in a future webinar, but there's lots of rich features that can be added on your Git repository using a web service such as GitHub. And another thing, GitHub is completely free unless you want private repositories. One thing to clear up, Git versus GitHub, they sound very similar, um, but they are two different things. So Git is a revision control system, a tool to manage your source code history. So Git is your command line interface that you'd use on your local machine, on your laptop or your desktop. And GitHub is the web hosting service where you can put Git repositories. So they are not the same thing. Git is the tool, GitHub is a web service. And one thing, so Ag's already mentioned that you can use them independently. You do not need GitHub to use Git but like I said, GitHub adds lots of useful functionality on top. So let's just run through a few steps of what will, what's going to happen if you set up a GitHub account um, and just explain the pages that you'll see. So in order to get an account, if you just go to github.com, um, the big form on the right highlighted in red, that is your, your sign-up form. So if you fill that in, and then follow the on-screen instructions. So one of the things you'll need to do is verify your email address. And then you'll be presented with a screen that looks like this. So this is, if you haven't got any code, then you'll see this. And um, one thing to highlight there, on that splash page, there is actually a tutorial. So if, when you go in and if you have run through these slides and you still don't fully understand what's going on, you can go through the GitHub tutorial there and that'll give you a, a starting place to, to learn how to um, begin using GitHub. In order to create a new repository, you click the plus icon up at the top and then just click the new repository button there. This will bring you a new page um, where you can get some basic information about your repository. So for example, you need to give it a name. I've gone for example repo. And then there's a box down here which says initialize repository with a readme. Uh, if you're just starting out, this is a good thing to tick. Um, and I'll show you why in a second. Then you click create repository. So this is what your repository will look like after you've created it. So you can see at the top there, you've got your username. So that's me, rsmith013, and my repository name, example repo. On the next line down, you have a few tabs with some extra settings for the repository. So the one we're gonna focus on today is that first one, the code, um, which is what you can see now. But if you uh, tab through, you can see other, other sections there. So issues, we'll talk about in another webinar, but that allows you to do issue tracking and, and settings on the repository. This next section down here tells you more information about your repository. So you can see we've got one commit and that was our readme file which was created at the beginning and one branch. And this section here shows you what's in it. So at the moment, like I said, we've just got this one file, this readme, and that is displayed here. So that's why it's a good reason to have a readme file. It allows you can, to write some information about what your repository is what's in it, uh, maybe how to use it, and um, some basic information that people will want to read as they come across your repository to understand what it is. 